Hello, my name is James Flores and welcome to my channel. We're here today with Tom. Tom Summerfield. I'm sure you've seen him on my videos in the past. And he's here today to, sh to help me with MIDI hardware. Sorry about the kids screaming in the background. With um, Hulptwork MIDI hardware. And he is, what do you call this thing? Um, I would say this is an LCD display, but it's not just any usual LCD display. Um, it's actually a specific um, custom design module for Hortwork sequences. So it is basically a ready out of the box. Um, I'll show it. It's a MIDI boutique. Uh, it's the brand name. Um, it's called the iStop Rev3. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it's basically a Hortwork sequence display. So you can see the sequencer, um, yeah, the yeah. step so that you're on. I basically wanted to have an, an LCD display to show me this step number of my registrations. Um, I could use my touch screen over here, but it's just so convoluted with all these you know, with all the stop jams and everything. I just wanted a simple display um, somewhere on my console. I haven't decided it yet. There's no case for it yet. Um, but hopefully this is a good documentation of the process of how to get it working with Hulptwork. So we haven't actually, um, we haven't yet used this one. We do have uh, another one which we've connected up in the past, so we'll hope this one works out uh, really well, but um, we'll just show you it's, um, how easy it was to set up. So the first step is to pre prepare the power supply. So in the power supply, there is a power, so you've got some power, I don't know what they're called, power pins. Uh, <laughs> um, Basically, you want to apply a voltage between, what is it, 7 and 14, I think it was. So if you have a 9-volt DC or 12-volt DC power supply, um, we're just going to use one of these. So basically, is this the camera we're going for now? Yeah. Yeah. So basically, all right, so we've got the parts. Um, we've got our LCD display, an RGB little LED thing that came with it. Um, don't know what that does yet, but if you're, if you know how to use it, then I don't know, feel free to chuck something in the comments. <laughs> so we've got our two, um, identical MIDI ports. So the MIDI to the onboard, uh, pin ports, which are on the back in red. They're just easy clip-ons. So we want to start first by, we need to connect the power supply. And because it uses these pins, uh, here, we've actually got to have, um, around, it's somewhere between seven and 14 volts of power um, going through. So we've got a nine volt DC adapter here. Um, this is a modular sort of adapter. You can change the end of it, um, but we just want the wire. So unfortunately we're just gonna have to cut the end off altogether. So we can use our uh, cheap little wire stripper here to, um, to get the wire. So we're just gonna open this. And uh, basically, yep, these are little attachments which will never be able to go on anymore. And we're just going to... Put them straight in the bin. Yeah, well, no, that, <laughs> that could be useful. Um, you want to get the thing off here. And yeah, this is our cord, our new power cord. So, basically... Yep, our cord here, we're just gonna say goodbye to the end and cut that off. That can go in the bin. And then we've got our wires here, which we're just gonna, I'm not an electrician, I've never done this before. So if this is against- This might be illegal. If this is against the procedures, then uh, I deeply apologize. <laughs> um, so now on the wire, if you have a look at the wire, you need your positive and your negative. Um, the positive is the one with the stripe, uh, the strip down it. So we're going to plug that into on the board. We've got the positive and the negative there. We need to strip the ends off. Um, 
yeah, it does work. So just gonna twist the wires. I think that's the, this is definitely, definitely not the official way to do it, but well, if it works, then definitely not becoming an electrician. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to get our kit. And whilst I'm doing this, you can, um, you can have a time lapse here. On this bit. Time lapse. Okay, just so we can put these in here, because I don't want this on video. We can really time lapse a lot of this. So, so we have got our board here connected to the power supply. Um, we should be able to get a green light once we turn it on. It will literally be a green light. So, um, here is the. I guess this is the um, the test to see if it turns on. Is that? Yep, I stop, and it has brought some stuff on the screen. Probably, yeah, it, it seems to work. So, um, yeah, we guess we're up to the next step. So the next step. No, the next step is this here. Oh, it's plugging the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we've got this connected. Now we need to get this connected to the computer somehow. So. It actually doesn't use a USB port, it uses good old fashioned MIDI um, MIDI ports. So they're both identical, so you've just got a MIDI in, MIDI out. Um, and I'll just have to figure out which way this is supposed to go on. I believe it is... Other way. Other way, yep. Is that the MIDI? So there is a... Uh, it, says, um... it says MIDI in or MIDI out. Oh, it does say MIDI in or MIDI out. They are actually the same um, protocols, so they'll both work anyway. But that's all right. Um, so we've got our MIDI in and out on there. And, yeah, so we need to connect these to the computer. You can use a MIDI interface. Or, yeah, we've got this RGB thing here, which we have no idea what it's used for. But, anyway, we'll connect that up. So, so now we'll just... Um Hook it up to the computer with a USB MIDI interface and go from there. We are on the floor. Um, this is this is uh, something you never get to see in James's <laughs> videos. If I just uh, it's have you a, a give you a rundown, um, you you like to see the clean side up there, and then well, this is behind the scenes. Anyway, it's horrible. It's okay. So we have got here. Uh, this is the MIDI controller connected um, and you'll see the lines aren't displayed anymore because that's if, if you start hot work up and um, well, we're basically just plugged it into the USB interface it's a very simple simple interface it just it's um, you just connect it up to the two ports out and in and then it's just got a USB cord which goes into the computer like any hot work keyboard or um, well, any MIDI, any MIDI device. MIDI device, I guess. Yeah. So. So let's look at the um. We have got the screen here, and this is our hot work that we are in. Now we want to be in going to general settings, yep. and then we want to go to MIDI LCD panel control. So basically, this will open up your controller for the record the screen recording and if you push test clear text now and then send test text now it um you won't see it on the screen but there is a flashing light it is receiving data we can change it to display anything currently it says step a current and queued friend because that's what i'm interested in but we can also get it to say i don't know change it tom to anything i don't know we're going to change it to organ the queued number and name or something. Combination set name. Is that what you want? Yep. So now it says one comms. That's not very interesting. What else can you put it on? Um. The first one, status organ name. 
it should say the organ that I've currently loaded, which is Selgareda Pro, and it says Selgareda Pro on two lines. But yeah, the main thing is I want to show the stepper number. So put it back to the stepper number, which is, no, not that one. Yep, that's it. Um, so if I'm playing a recital, I just want to have one huge registration um, setting and I know what number I'm up to especially when it's a very complicated piece. I don't want to have to miss one and keep looking over to the side for um, to make sure that I've actually hit the right step. And that's it. What's part two going to entail in this series? Um, this series for part two, I think, well, at the moment, as you can see down there, we have our... Uh, everything's very um, messy and exposed and... Um, well, I guess you wouldn't say it's very practical. So part two is going to be building a case for it so we can sit it nicely on top of the organ up probably, I would say, around next to the bear. Um, <laughs> and I think, yeah, and if we have it in a nice little wooden box or even a 3D printed plastic box, um, yeah, it would definitely look like a very professional, nice little um, helpful addition to the organ. Thank you for looking after the hardware parts of this project. You know I'm scared of hardware, but I like software. I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but um, yeah, no problem. I'm never going to strip any wires again. <laughs> All right, and thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in my next video. Bye.